Greetings, dear ones. As always, we are very pleased to have this time to speak with you today. We are aware that in the ongoing flow of higher light to the planet, and this is a plasma light, which is the very foundation of life on Earth, many feel not only exhausted, but inwardly stretched and challenged in ways they had not anticipated would be part of the ascension process. And so you are feeling perhaps old sadness, anger, feelings of loss or helplessness coming to the surface now as old memories from this life and the essence of memories of other lives come forward to demand your attention and your energies. We would say that though this is a painful and difficult situation for many, it's nevertheless a beautiful sign that you are moving beyond the confines of third dimensional life and shifting your consciousness into new forms. And what we mean by that is that you are regaining your true selves and releasing the false self created over this or other earth lives purely to survive. You are also in the process of building the life and experience of the new human. You will have heard that term before now and may already have an idea of what that will be. You might picture a person who floats above the density of earth life, living in an aura of pure love, assisting others on their path, while always remembering to support their own inner journey. And we would say, you have a point there, to a degree. Yet it will be some time yet before your earth moves into a place of pure peace in which earth life permits and consciously chooses to create life on what might be called the terms of higher dimensional life. This will not occur the instant Nasara law is fully enacted and publicly announced around the world. It will not occur by the next morning nor the week after. Though weapons will cease to function upon Nasara's enactment and consciousness will move up even before that day via events such as the solar flash, still we leave to you, the people of Earth, the task of remaking your Earth life experience. You have chosen this, and we honor and respect your choices. Our writer, Caroline, enjoys imaging the new Earth architecture. She pictures it as mainly round, oblong, or pyramidal buildings with much green around them, trees, grass, flowers, while all animals are treated with respect and living happily without fear or aggression. A balanced atmosphere and a clean planet without landfill or pollution of any kind. This world always ensures that its children are respected and elders revered. That schools support the specific gifts of each child or young person so that they develop joyfully in an atmosphere of discovery. On this renewed earth, healing centers deal entirely in natural and plant-based medicines, and long-suppressed higher technologies have been released that heal body, mind, and spirit. What somewhat slows the process, though all these shifts are inevitable now as you have collectively chosen such, are not only myriad astrological and energetic processes that must shift first, but also the human ego mind. That energy form has its preferences and patterns which directly influence and mold everyday earth life. They are what feel safe to most human beings as they are familiar and are what you have been taught to expect and desire in life. Yet those desires, many are now realizing, will too often run in the opposite direction from the guidance and preferences of your own souls. And so, many now are releasing, for example, the materialism so long pushed upon humanity in the so-called developed world. A mass movement toward simplicity and all the beauty, ease, and elegance of that form of living has swept millions into what you call minimalism, as well as an increased frugality and desire to avoid overconsumption while reducing waste. While all of that can sound to be a modern affectation, it is actually a soul-based expression of human desire to live in spirit now more than in outer form. This is a great move forward, dear ones, 
And while not everyone has caught on to the empowering simplicity of minimal buying, pure and holistic eating, and sustainable choices, we can assure you, these preferences are building. The machinations of the once powerful, now greatly weakened old matrix do not stack up, one might say, against the determination of humanity's soul collective to get back to the garden, to quote one lovely old song. You are indeed stardust, and you are golden, and you are reaching now into your universal connections with star family, soul empowerment, soul healing, and reintegration of lost soul essences. You are remembering and reclaiming your authentic self. That higher aspect is never concerned with viewing life from the ego mind. What others think, what society dictates, what's been true in the past. Increasingly, these concepts fade in importance. They are more and more irrelevant, passé, and strange feeling. The heart mind is beginning to laugh at the old requirements of the ego mind, social or personal. The heart mind is saying things such as, it's true that when I meet someone new, I would like them to see only my best aspects. Yet it is fine with me if they notice the imperfections. I am at peace and at home with my being now. In the past, for many, many centuries of earth life, this would have been either socially unwise or possibly dangerous. Weaknesses, fears, losses, these things were never to be shown to another unless complete confidentiality could be assured. Many of you are what has been termed in the modern world highly sensitive persons or HSPs. And for you to allow another to see your flaws, particularly if you have had childhoods in which you were mistreated or constantly corrected, can in many cases be a very brave act on your part. This stands as a testament to your increasing comfort with your fifth dimensional capabilities and insights. You may also be feeling the effects of the powerful solar flares occurring now as a kind of assault on your mind, body, and spirit. Yet in times past, this would have catapulted millions into illness, extreme faintness, despair, or worse. The amounts of third dimensional energetic entrainment and toxicity that you are releasing in the plasmatic light now flowing to the planet is a stunning moment for humanity, and particularly all of you who are at the forefront of ascension. You have not only been leading the way to transformation of human DNA and consciousness, you have also been using your increasing levels of awareness and inner growth as a pathway for communication with star nations, as you call out for greater connection to your families that are aboard the ships, now surrounding the planet in the millions. For this reason, though you may feel exhausted and emotional many days, we ask that you not lose heart. In the heat of this very pivotal moment for the planet, you might compare it to a dog shaking the fleas off its back. You may feel to be in mid-shake at the moment as you throw off the ever-weakening restraints and interferences of the old order. Though it is difficult to hear from those of us who live outside of time that things will change very soon, we assure you they are already changing drastically. We have noted numerous times that your media does not for the most part report what is actually happening on the planet, except by accident. This leaves you in what feels to be a perpetual waiting mode that is neither accurate nor encouraging. And so, we will not say soon. We will say now. Now, friends who are family, it is now that you are shifting your planet in ways that you will increasingly understand as you allow yourself to go within and see how things are shaping up in different sectors of earth life. You will see or at least feel much occurring that says that not only are the angelic legions and the archangels hard at work on your behalf, your own higher self and soul families are helping to transform life on Mother Earth in ways you could not have even dreamt of in other Earth lives. We welcome you to ask your spirit team, show me what is really happening on the planet now. 
What progress is there for ascension and for liberation of the earth as we move into 5D? Then open to receive in whatever way your spirit team chooses to show you and be alert to those messages or images as they come through, for they shall. And it is time you got a clearer image of what is occurring now. Namaste, friends. As always, we are with you at every moment. Abraham, be positive. There will be more wars. Food prices will continue to rise and gas gets more expensive. It is not to punish you. It is to prepare the world for a revolution. Something has to be grand enough that makes you want to change. Something in your life has to happen that makes you say, what is going on here? We wish this to be a months of awakening. Let's wake the people up. What is going to grab their attention? For this month, some eyes were opened, and we need more eyes next few months. Will you get through it? Your vibration will play a role in whether you overcome or fall flat. Spend particular time working on your vibration. Do not fall into despair. You must look at this as positive changes. Things have to be difficult for change to occur. Be excited that things are coming into play. Time is moving faster. Plans are getting put in place. And soon we will have peace on earth. But to get peace on earth, there has to be the changeover. You are in the unpeaceful times. And now you need the peaceful times. Something has to happen in there to make it flip. Be so excited by what you see happening that you know plans are going into action. With this month, it becomes even more important to think about the future and where you want to be in your own personal development. Do you want to complain all year long? Do you want to be in awe all year long? Choose the high vibrational thought. Choose the wow. Changes are finally happening. Plans are unfolding. And I am here to witness it. Be inspired by what you see in your neighborhoods. Trust that the high vibrational influences you come across have an impact. Turn towards things that feel good and places that feel good and turn away from negativity. Don't become pessimistic and compliant. Reach in your soul for that part of you that said, I came here for this time. I came here to make a change. Love will win. Believe in yourself you can make it through. You have all the skills you need. You were created for this. You want to be here. This is a very special assignment. Feel the grandness of what is going to occur. Light codes will guide you and give you new opportunities you may not know about. Inspiration will come to you if you remain upbeat. Prosper in the knowing that this is all as it should be. Nothing is wrong. Everything is moving as it should. Take time to thank those around you for the part that they play in this changeover. To your neighbors, look at them with amazement that they volunteered to be a part of this. See the beauty in each other's actions. Feel the power of a group experience. You simply need to watch your vibration to achieve the ultimate goal. Choose high vibrational thoughts and phrases at all times. We ask this of you. You are our special souls who are strong enough for the journey. May the next few months bring you all the excitement you came for. It's go time. You are ready. Amen.